Yes, yes, I know, eating junk food is bad for you, but just one chip won't hurt. Huh. Oh, I think it's done. Okay, you go. I'm here. Clean around the fridge. Okay, start furniture area cleaning. Thank you, buddy. I better hide this evidence uh, before someone suspects. All right, shh, don't tell anyone about my hiding place. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Well, you probably have heard of the Ecovax Omni X1, probably one of the most impressive raw vacuums today. With that 3D mapping, 5,000 pascals a section, it can vacuum, it can mop, it can self-wash its mopping pad, it can dry its mopping pad, it can self-empty, has an onboard camera, the list goes on and on. But what's pretty impressive is this is the only raw vacuum today that has an onboard voice assistant called Eco. With the onboard voice control, you can do a lot of different things. Increase the volume of the robot, increase the suction, also tell it to clean a specific area, room, or underneath furniture, and lastly, you can tell it to go back home. Well, did you actually know there's three different models? You got the X1 Plus, X1 Turbo, and the model shown here, X1 Omni. Start charging. Whoa! I will start by chair. Wow, I can't just get over how giant this thing is. Well, this definitely looks like a giant trash can. Exit from the station. Please keep the floor unobstructed. Okay, you go. I'm here. Go back to your home. Return to the station. So, this is very handy. If you have your hands tied, you can use the voice system to control a lot of the features of the robot. We got the mini trash can. Yes, this thing is so cute. So tiny compared to this guy. Very exciting comparison. We got the Ecovax D-Bot X1 Plus versus the big brother, the Omni X1. You want to say hi, Omni? Let's go ahead and bring you out. I will just push this little button up top here. Exit from the station. Please keep the floor unobstructed. You guys see the comparison there? Yes, they're almost identical in the front here. You got the two laser systems. You got front-facing cameras with 3D optical avoidance, and they both have 3D mapping. Of course, these guys are fairly powerful, around 5,000 pascals. Both can mop back here. Actually, a third model called the X1 Turbo, which is almost identical to the Omni, minus not having a self-emptying feature. Also, in that bin. There's only a cool drying feature, not a hot drying feature. So it takes about five hours to dry the mopping pad versus two hours in this docking station. But everything else about the turbo is the same. If we move the top here, yes, they're held on by magnets. They're hot softball. So if you lose the top, just get the X1 turbo, vice versa, and you can get a brand new top. The way this one goes is to go over there. Maybe we should put two tops on that one. They have the same uh, chassis design. So there's no difference there, and yes, you can hot swap the dust bins. Okay, you go. I'm here. Where are you at? You can I'm find here. all kinds of devices. If you're okay sharing where you live, I can give you local weather forecasts. And the X1 Turbo have the counter rotating Turbo 2.0 mopping system, whereas on the X1 Plus, this is a Pro 3.0 Austin mopping system. So let's go ahead and turn these guys over so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Off the floor. Please put me back. Okay, I'm sorry. It'll just be a minute. All right, so you can see the differences: counter rotating mopping pads versus a vibrating mopping system. Now, during my testings, I felt like they're both about the equal. Uh, they both are able to get tougher dirt drive versus static mopping systems. Now, one thing to note is you cannot get a self-washing feature with this style of mopping pad. It's only reserved for the counter-rotating system. That's found on the X1 Turbo and the Omni X1. Okay, so you may notice... Please put me back. Alright, so you may notice that the uh, front is almost identical. You got the dual wheels with combination extractor bar and the sensors underneath. Alright, let's go and get this flipped over before the X1 Omni gets mad at me. Okay, you go. I'm here. Mop the kitchen. Okay, start 
depending on what version you get, expect a very large box. This is probably one of the largest raw vacuum boxes I've done on this channel. Thankfully, Ecovax does a really good job in their packaging department. Everything was nicely packaged and labeled, so you know exactly where the robot's hiding and all its accessories. Well, I kind of wish Ecovax did a two-box setup because this was a pretty big box to deal with. Okay, so nevertheless, Ecovax does a really nice job packaging, like I said, and all their accessories are there, but you don't get a lot of additional accessories. I think you only get one set of side brushes. Uh, correct me if I was wrong, maybe I didn't see the other set. So it doesn't matter what version you get, all three do have the onboard voice assistant, it's called Yiko. So let's go ahead and uh, try it out. Okay, Yiko. I'm here. Now, you see a blue indicator, letting you know it's listening. Turn up the volume. Okay, the volume is at the maximum setting. Okay, Yiko. I'm here. Lowest power section. Okay, the section power adjusted. Thing that the X1 Plus has over the X1 Turbo and X1 Omni is the onboard air freshener. So if I remove the Osley mopping pad and I grab my onboard freshener, there's actually a little capsule right here. I can install in the rear of the robot. Okay, so let's talk about the differences why you get one model over the other and vice versa. So, if you're looking for a cheaper option, you don't want to spend an arm and leg, well, the X1 Plus is around $1,000, but you get a lot of the same features as on the X1 Turbo and the X1 Omni. Now, keep in mind, obviously, size differences, this guy does not have the self-washing feature. Also, this guy does not have a hot air drying feature, so my recommendation is remove the mopping pad once it's done so it can air dry quicker. Of course, you can throw in your washing dryer if you want a thorough cleaning. Now, the X1 Plus does have a different mopping system, and even though it vibrates, I found it does equally as well as the ones that have counter-rotating mopping pads, so you shouldn't see a difference in mopping performance. Okay, so one thing to know is this guy does have a slightly larger dust bag, around 3.2 liters versus 3 liters, and the X1 Plus does have an option for a air freshener, where these guys don't have that option. Okay, so let's talk about the middle guy. Um, you may notice that the docking station is about the middle range. It's about this high versus that high versus that high. So that docking station has a self-washing feature, but does not have the self-emptying. But you can save about $100 to $150 if you don't need a self-emptying feature. Now, on the X1 Turbo, one thing to know is it only has a cool air drying feature, not the hot air drying feature found on the Omni X1. So the difference in time is this guy takes about two hours to fully dry the mopping pad, whereas on the X1 Turbo it takes about five hours. So that's just something to uh, keep note. But the robot itself is basically identical. They have every feature, every uh, mopping system is identical. So the only difference on the X1 Turbo is the docking station. All right. So lastly, on the X1 has every feature that Ecovax offers, minus a slightly smaller dust bag and the air freshener that the X1 Plus has, but everything else you're gonna get with the Omni X1. All right, so I hope this video was helpful. I know that's a lot of information thrown at you. Uh, if you have any questions or if you need uh, more clarification, feel free to shoot a comment down below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. And I'll put some links down below. There might be a special coupon here or there. So be safe out there. See you later. Adios.